Unions are billing it as the biggest strike in a generation. Up to two million state workers have walked out across the UK in a dispute with the government over pension reforms. The disputes prompted some MPs to question the role of taxpayer-funded union representatives working in public sector organisations. Union reps like nurse Jane Pilgrim, she came to prominence earlier in the year when she spoke out against NHS reforms. Her surname is now being used by critics who refer to union reps as pilgrims. I think it is time. I think the idea of full-time trade unionists working in the public sector on trade union business rather than serving the public, I don't think that is right and we're going to put that to an end. The trade unionist's journey is certainly not an impoverished one. The pressure Trade unions received £130 million pounds of funding from taxpayers in 2010-11. This includes £80 million pounds in paid staff time. Aidan Burley heads the Conservatives' trade union reform campaign. Well, I think people will be astonished at the level of public subsidy to the trade unions, over £130 million pounds a year of their taxpayers' money, not going on frontline services like doctors and nurses, but directly funding those organising the strikes and the chaos we saw last week. I agree with the Prime Minister, it's a can't be sustained morally or economically, and that's why I'm campaigning to end this Spanish practice. Pilgrim.